middle of nowhere, town called Haver, H-A-V-R-E or H-A-V-E-R. Which is a five or ten minute service stop. This is Sharon. This is my companion for this trip. And this is the and toilet. This trip only. You gotta see the neat shower here we have. Look at this shower. It's actually a shower. So, shower. My underwear is there. So that's shower. So as a combination toity, toity toilet there. Oh one. And there's my foot. That covers my foot. That's it. I reach my foot, the toilet from the outside. And the flush toilet is kind of tricky. See, it says there, close lid to flush, okay? So when you flush, this is the lid, okay? When you've done your job, you put it down, and here, it sucks it out like the airline. And this three little holes there, it's like the air comes through there and sucks it in there. So what happens is that since the shower is so small, you end up sitting down here this way. See? You do, I don't. I sit down and right in front of the hole there, then like this, and you turn the shower knob here, take a shower, because you cannot Stand up. I have to stand up because there's no. Look, my feet is already at the door. So you sit there. So one day, okay. I I was using toilet paper, toilet paper probably like that, and I slug it in here, like this, put it there, and put down, and continue to take a shower, and suck, and you know it sucked the air, sucked the air there, and my golly. I don't know how to explain to you the feeling. Well, it's kind of amazing. Bye. That's our sink. And this is my companion again. <laughs> and that's the overhead bin. And the other side is the upper bunk, which we don't use because when this bed is open up, is a what? Excuse me, enough. <laughs> I, I just, I just drank some <laughs> Pepsi right there. Pepsi. <laughs> I had trains to get there, but just before the fight. So this Pepsi's is what it's all about. The train ride through Montana. Montana, Montana. Next town is Shelby. Shelby there shortly. This is the train we took. We start from Milwaukee, then go through Minnesota. South Dakota. North Dakota. North Dakota. Montana. Montana. Idaho. That's Montana still. Then through Idaho. And Spokane. Where we split one the other half of the train where Sharon is not. We'll go to Portland. And the other train which we're on will go to Seattle, Washington. These four mountain peaks, according to the brochure, 
is the training ground for the Indian breastfeeders in the reservations. Throughout our trip, I never saw so many junk cars just being left in the yards. Some of them are in the 50s. 40s. 40s, even. They don't seem to know what to do with their old cars around here. This is all Montana. The place that that guy in the hunt for Red October wanted to go and have a ranch, but he was killed at the end of the movie. We have not really seen any what we call a virgin land, like forest. Everything seems to be tilled, and if there's any open field there, grazing lands. There are a lot of cheeseburgers, and hamburgers, and hot dogs. This is where they come from, and grazed. Here comes the mountain. Yep. Seen that in the movie, the close encounter of the Fifth bank or something? Huh? Who do you think is taking this picture? I've never seen a silo this this way before. Look at that silo. Oh. Strange silo. That looks like something from Waterworld. Yeah, it is Waterworld. The cross the control didn't get that guy is peeing or what? Oh. Quick, quick. This looks like horse country. What are those tires in the roof for? Of that? That's the main street. Yeah. Well, that's the snow fence to protect the railroad tracks. Laura Engel's original house. <laughs> We're nearing the top of the mountain. It's about to be about 4,600 feet above sea level. There's one of the rivers. What's it called, that river, Sharon? <laughs> that river was the Two Medicine River. We are at the East Glacier Park in Montana. The lodge? No. Yeah, I think that was the lodge. Oh, yeah, lodge. yeah, that's the lodge that was built. With 600 year old trees. By with 600 year old trees. It was built by the railroad company to attract tourists to the area. This is the snow that we were seeing. The mountains of Montana. Birch trees, young ones. Now we're on top of the mountain. Really on top of the mountain. Deer out there. This is going to the mystery pass that Lewis and Clark were looking for through the Rockies, but somebody else found it eventually for the railroad years later. 
Look at that little cabin down there. Yep. This is the snow we're seeing from far earlier. Hey folks, thank you for that. There's a train ahead. Look at this. There's our train. The sheep. Yeah. Those are the sheep? Yeah. Mal and gold. We're heading for that curve up there. Yeah, that was our railroad track there. We just made a you know, like a U-shaped turn. We're now going downhill, so that means we have reached the continental divide of the United States of America. I would get something there. The old, that's the, that's the old, uh, the old, uh, that's the old uh, tunnel. Tunnel, that's the old tunnel. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, watch your elbow. There's no one to be surprised when you turn around. Okay, guys, uh, enjoy your meal. Thank you. Okay. That was the old tunnel. We are now in the tunnel. We called it the trestle. Sharon doesn't like this part of the trip. No, I like it. I just don't like it. It's the only part of the trip in which there was no cell phone service. About, we're about, what, 6,000 feet up? Now it's about... It's part of your trip that you like. Yeah, I will have some ice cream. Ice cream, The river runs through. And how about you, sir? Yeah, but Hey, what do you know? Ski lodges. Cabins. Must be the forest rangers' home. The food was great. First time finally Sharon succumbed to the ice cream after two days. Look at those peaks. Look at that one. Yeah, you could hardly even see it, these darn things.
Those white capped mountains are playing peekaboo. A bear here. Well, we'll keep the camera on. Maybe we'll find one. This is the Flathead River. Yep. Bird. Is that a bird? Is that a bird? That's a bird. That's a bird. Look at a tributary. From the mountains, I'm sure. The river runs through it. Don't worry. Don't touch me, don't touch me, don't touch me. We're in the tunnel. What are you doing? Get your hands off me. Get your hands off me. <laughs> There's a reflection of the sunlight what? in your face. What is that? Where's that? Okay. We're out of the tunnel. Look, little island. Sun is setting. Crow. What? Is it a crow? I don't know. Got a long beak. Is it? It is now Monday, early morning hours. 6 a.m. Pacific time. We're in the state of Washington. And what do you see? Apple blossoms? Could be. Could be cherries also, but they say apples from Washington State. So there you go. I wish she said tiny little apple blossoms. Wow. And the river runs through it. More apple blossoms. More apple blossoms. Can you actually see that? I think that seat was my Apple blossoms everywhere. Apple blossoms everywhere. They're the apple of my eye. Big apples. Wow. We're in the tunnel again. Tunnel. I'm gonna tape the tunnel. Let's see how, how long how long the tunnel lasts. It didn't last too long. More rivers. That is deep, sorry. Is that huge or what? <laughs> there he is, the doctor. Is the doctor? These are flowers, yeah. It's love. We're on top of the clouds. Now we're on top of the mountain in the clouds. And down yonder is the river. River. See the river? Oh, river. Oh hey, Sharon. Nothing. Sharon scared. Scared. She was scared. And now she's scared. <laughs> Look at the steep. Steep down. The river runs through it. The 
the river runs through it again. Here is an here here is an adventure. You have to close the lid to flush. It's automatically flush. So you do your thing, and then when you do your thing, you put this on. Then the light goes on, and it's voila, and it's empty. See this little hole that's in there? That's the one that sucks the air from the atmosphere, so it will not be a vacuum. Now we'll go on the other side now because we just went that way. Folks, we're less than 10 minutes from our next scheduled station stop of Everett. Everett coming up in about eight minutes. Thank you. Those are hybrid gunwood trees. They made paper. Over here, Sharon. Over here. So the hybrid gunwood. They made paper. It's like we have in our backyard, but ours is not hybrid. Ours just like a rotten breed. They're all over the place. In case you didn't catch my comment earlier, because I turned the camera on sooner, they're all over the place, except this place. <laughs> oh yeah, they're distant, yonder. Puget Sound, not pungent, right? Puget, P-U-G-E-T. Excuse me. Telephone poles in the water. This tugboat is dragging logs. See, logs. Yeah. Sharon, pretend you're on the cruise. You're next to the body of water there. See that? Oh, except for the trees. Now you don't look like you're on a cruise. With the trees. Now you're on a cruise again. See the island across here? See the island? You're on a cruise again. Sharon, where are the water's edge? First we're at the forest edge, mountain, now in the water's edge. Floating island. Yeah, this is... Seattle, as usual, it's raining, as usual, waiting for our ferry to go to Bainbridge from where we'll proceed to Port Townsend. Now we're in the ferry. Very ferry. It's the other end of the ferry. Can I go back to it? 
Washington, Queens. For security reasons, we ask that passengers not leave any backpacks, luggage, packages, or other things from the passenger assembly station, which are located so, at both the of the main passenger cabin. Please follow all instructions given by the crew. Life jackets may be found as a new French piece in the passenger passenger assembly station. Just a reminder, smoking is not allowed in any area while the vessel is in the dock. The windows are not designed well in this ship. But the windows are tilted in an angle so that water collects down. Excuse me? On the bottom. Look at that. Water, Sharon. It doesn't go anywhere because it collects. It's like a throw in the corner. Port Warden and Port Townsend. These are the General's Officers' Quarters. This is the rest of the fort. The modern raider replacing the old Fort Wilson light.
Huh? Submarine. You're kidding. There's a submarine right there. The old, the new. We didn't see any whale, but I see a submarine. Submarine in the picture. It's the old lighthouse. There's the new radar station. I think this looks like a tree house, but it could be an old lighthouse too. Sharon, there's a telephoto lens out there. Huh? There's a telephoto lens. Boy, it is cool. Okay, so talk about the submarine in a collision course. We got the sun today, my gosh. Yeah, it's beautiful. Let me get a bunch of layers of clouds. What's this place? Hurricane? Hurricane Ridge. Hurricane Ski Ridge. Lines. They're 5,200 feet up. And the sign says, please stay behind wall. What wall? So in a clear day, you can see Canada. You can see Canada. You can What's that body of water called in there? That's What's the, uh, what is it, the Straits? Of, Straits? Uh, yeah. Okay. And Port Angeles is today. You can see Port Angeles down there, too. Down there? I'm going to try to see if I could find the salmon try to jump upstream. Supposed to be spawning season. Let me know if you see one.
I probably won't know I saw one unless I see this in bigger screen. There's one, I see one. Yeah, I saw one. Dang, I hope I, I caught it. Did you get it? I know, I hope I caught it. I'll just keep it on for a few minutes. You saw one too, right? Yeah. There. Got it. Yeah. But he didn't quite make it, did he? Oh! Yeah, he went up to the side. See that one? Yeah, he hit the rocks. There is another one. Must be the same guy trying to get to the side. Laura was stuck up there. Sharon tried here to come down here. And she made it. My God, look at her. Sharon yeah, made, it. made it. There we go. She looked like a professional photographer. Look at her. She's going to the falls trail. We are nearing the falls. It's pretty. Yeah, it's pretty. This is the way the wood is rotting away.
I hope nobody got hurt. Yeah. Sharon, you would have loved coming over here. There are little bridges all over because there are creeks. We go down the steps. There we are. goes underneath this bridge, Sharon. And goes the other side. This is the all the tall duck falls. The lens might be a little wet because of the mist flashing from the fall up there. Ever wonder why this tree was cut? Well, it looks like it fell right on top of the bridge there. And this other tree is ready to go. It's leaning already towards the right. We'll see. This is the halfway mark of 0.8 miles for the fall. All the different shades of green. Yeah. They're called black tailed deer. What is the name of this light again? Oh, present light. Thank you, present. Communist Party. We are here at Port Angeles, waiting for the ferry to go to. Where are we going, Sharon? Victoria, Vancouver, Vancouver. Island. Whenever I say ferry, I have a hard time differentiating between a ferry and a ferry, or Perry Mason. But anyway, I'm supposed, I wanted to take pictures, but Sharon says, because of the heightened suspicion of border guards, we are not able to really take the risk of being arrested, especially Sharon. But Sharon says she's not, she doesn't look suspicious. She wants to get attention. That young customs officer just checked the passport, looks like, of this Middle Eastern looking man with two kids. I think he's suspecting the kids might be carrying a bomb or something strapped to their belly button. I doubt it. Right? Yeah, the guy is walking around with a computer. That police officer is carrying a computer. He's checking with his computer, laptop computer, the license. With the relaxed family atmosphere, it's so refreshing. Saturn dealers were number one on the Port Angeles, Washington.
Colonel Pepe used to duck over here. I presume off the ducks over here, the big faders like that one. All right, now, this way is the big one. Somewhere in these mountains are the is the home of the Richardson. Right there. Right there somewhere, according to Sharon. I'm sure the Richardsons will correct us if we're in the wrong spot. Right there? Somewhere in the base of there? Yes. Okay. Looks that uh, looks should be the right location. And the flag was still there. Start their local hospital. The more hospital, I think. And the flag was still there. Except us. This is Fort Angeles, Washington. That's the local hospital, Memorial Hospital, I think the name is. Somewhere there is the home of Laura and Ron Richardson. Uncle Pepe used to land over here. And I thought when he said he was calling from Fort Angeles, I thought he was calling from L.A. But actually it's here. This port is well protected by what they call the hook. It is so well protected, the harbor, by this sand, like they call sometimes the spit. I don't know why they call it spit. Okay, let me try to see where Ron and Laura's home is. Maybe I think that's their cooking breakfast. Yes, Sharon. Yes, Sharon. Yes, Leo. Still probably outlive me. What? What did I do? You did that that way, and then you. Wait, what? You're not fair, I thought there were porpoise or some fairy animals out there. But Sharon says they are logs. I'm leaning on the window of this vehicle. I'm a big looking at this so-called logs. How do, is there logs, Sharon? Look at it, they're all over the place. Yeah. They could, we could hit them. Uh, Are we preventing to get a hit? Look, they're all over the place. Must be net or something. What are they? I, I, I'm hurting now, too. I don't know why I'm leaning into, oh, God. My, oh, I'm straddling over the edge of this chair. No wonder, it's sharp. <laughs> there are debris, sir. There are debris. Or you call it debris. Yeah, but how can I, we're banging on them, I think. We're by, banging the logs. <laughs> This is the ship. I don't know where it came from. I'm 
Niger is not from the Gulf region. So the destroyer, I could not read the name of the ship, but maybe when I blow this picture up, I'll send it for identification. That's Port Angeles behind us, and we are approaching Victoria, that's in British Columbia. And Sharon is no longer in the train, he, she is on board the ferry. Keep walking, don't worry, you're part of the picture. <laughs> See their babies here. Look at a big bed for babies. And then this is where you deposit them. This was only in homes. They also have this on ship or in the foyer. the captain and crew, we'd like to thank you for traveling with Black Ball Transport. We hope that you enjoyed your trip on the Coho. We leave for Victoria twice daily at 10.30 a.m. and 4 o'clock p.m. All passengers will have customs and immigration inspection ashore. Please prepare yourself to provide valid aid. Passengers will leave the coho on the right, forward side of the ship on the passenger deck level. Once again, foot passengers will leave the coho on the right, forward side of the ship on the passenger deck level. Automobile passengers should return to their vehicles at this time. Please be cautious and hold on to the handrails while going down the stairway. Passengers must stay clear of all line handling areas. Would you please check to make sure you have all of your personal belongings before you leave the ship? We are inside the tall ferry, car ferry. As usual, we seem to be the last one in any place we go to. Sharon, this guy is driving me crazy. He never sits still. Look at that. Since we got in from the pier, he was already. He's trying to open up the emergency door, Sharon. No, he's not. Look at it. That's an emergency door outlet. Look at that. Where does it For go skate. to? Oh, maybe show off the box. Isn't that the pause that refreshes? He should be going there. See, the arrow says stairs down, right? But actually, the stairs is going up that way. So no, why is the arrow pointing down? The stairs are there. Well, no, are then they... the arrow should point up. Oh, for goodness sakes. Well, goodness the sakes. The door I... is there. The door out there, I tried to find the stairs the going down. There was there. no stairs the going down. The door is down there. There was no stairs going down, though. I was looking for stairs going down. <laughs> so the arrow is wrong. No, the arrow is not wrong. Yes, you're right. The door is there. So the sign should say, door to the stairs in this arrow. You would think they build a ferry like this for millions of dollars and you could put a sign that's worth a few dollars properly. And there's another sign that drives me crazy. See this? This is life preserved. Five adults, two children. Preservatives. Preservers. Preservers. 
25 adults and two child. Should be 25 adults and two children. I mean, there are more than no, 25 two adults. Child preservers. Oh, for goodness sakes. There's more than two children and 20 adults in this ferry right now. I don't trust this kind of businesses. This is Canada for you, or this is American ship? Welcome to Canada. There is a, an appropriate sign. Washington, Switzerland of America. I agree with that. And there's Dr. Raju's uh, license plate. Washington, the, what state does that say? Carry in the back of a pickup truck, but they're tied down, so I guess. <laughs> Welcome. Of course, you always start in the parking lot. I guess Canada has their European influence or beginning because they allow dogs here all over the place. And there, this is where they waste them. Just like in Europe, they're all over the place. And this is where I waste mine. And this is where some of them begins or starts. We just waste them too with our gifts. It ends up in the basement after a few years. This place is impressive, Sharon. It's better than Disney World, where they charge you for an umbrella when it's rainy. Let me tell you, the entrance is impressive, Sharon. Yeah. The tour starts here, but I really would like to start here. All right. This is the layout. Yeah. Okay. Sixty-five acres, they said. No, 55. 55? What happened to the 10 acres that I was thinking of earlier? This is the only place with no flowers. As I said, this is the only place where there's no flowers. Might as well, because I don't think you can smell the flowers here, but I cannot capture the smell with this camera. Sharon is always looking for me. She claims that when she goes to like to the John, I leave her behind. Actually, I'm staying within 10 feet from here all the time. She's the one that wanders around looking for me when I'm only within 10 feet. You're thirsty, aren't you? No. No? No, I'm not. Oh, thank you. There's your. Wow. <laughs> I think we have longer holidays. You don't get that. You 
you'd get a longer Easter. You know, you'd get a longer Well, according to Sharon, there's only two people here, Japanese tourists and I, and Sharon. But I'm half Japanese, so I'm not concerned about that. What the heck is going up there? So what's the one saying that God bless America or what? This is Japanese guy singing his national anthem, I think. He's devoting this song to me and Sharon. Sars. Miss Bouchard must have some kind of landscaper. Would it have taken Timmy 100 years to do this? He has to. He had to give the plans to this garden for the next two generations of his children if he was to do this. I better not bring Sharon over this uh, because she's trying to hold her, you know what, when she sees this. One thing good about coming to tourist attraction when the weather is not perfect, not sunny, it's like there are very few tourists around, but it's nice. But the Japanese always braves the elements they're used to hard life, so just show up here. But I feel at home. They're all Asians. Everywhere you look is a picture-perfect opportunity, equal.
This reminds me, I left Sharon in the restroom. She might be looking frantically for me. But it's too beautiful a sight to leave now. I'm sure she can wait. She feels better now. You want to grow your food for today, Sharon? Or you want to eat to the restaurant? Go to the restaurant, I mean. Trying to warm up. I don't know, it's Sharon's choice of his date, her date, I mean, and his date. Look at the guy, he's got this silly look in his face, Sharon, look at his face. This is a funny look. I don't know, it's, I think it looks dead to me. This restaurant is gorgeous, Sharon, they even have flowers in here. I'm really be impressed with the flowers in the restaurant. And Sharon says, what do you say? Do you have restaurant, uh, flowers in the restaurant? Not in the men's room. Did you, have you seen the men's room at all? There's none in there. But can I go to the women's room and be sure that you're right? That you're not telling me a lie? I just can't remember the one there. I don't think the one there. Just the one there. Doesn't this remind you of somewhere in England or somewhere? Dig that hair, no, I mean the orchid. Looks like a bee orchid, whatever you call it. Sucker. I found a defect in this place. See this beautiful setting? Look at this guy. Look at his mouth, Sharon. It's supposed to be water coming out of his mouth there. See that pipe? There. Uh, there's no water right now. Maybe because we're eating here? What are you laughing? What are you laughing at? You need a good dermatologist. This is six what? How many year old? Sixty-nine year old Sequoia. Sixty-nine year old only? No, it's yeah. gotta be more than that. Seedling planted in 1934. Dang! That's not old enough for me. We are in the Japanese garden, supposedly. What are we? We are in the lost garden. We'll ask these people where, which garden we are in. We are at. This is the twirling fish. What does this mean, Sharon? Is it downhill? If you let go of their wheelchair there, and this is Japanese garden. You know what this means in English, Sharon? It means for employees only. How do I know? What's a Japanese garden without running water? An Indian reservation. Oh, periwinkle. Yeah. This is the Japanese periwinkle. Yeah, maybe. It's periwinkle japonicum. You should be proud. Watch it, there's a step. And we have this bush called Bushum Stepsum. There are steps of the deck. Sharon is just like the Japanese tourists. 
is everywhere wherever I film. I'm still in the Japanese garden. The area where that we are exploring. One of the British Columbia lakes, I guess. I mean lakes, island. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah. Is that a lake or what? I don't know. You don't know? Yeah. If you don't know, how would I know? Look at this zoom, man. Guess what? This is the Italian garden. No Italian food, just a garden. Where do I put this frozen? Just in the penny pocket there. Eh? Where did we got where you got the film? I didn't get any film. Oh. Water, water everywhere. Sharon, you know one thing good about this place? Parking is free. Ha ha. Is that a banana plant I see? In this part of the country? I don't know. If it is, it doesn't look too healthy. This is the people's garden compared to Bashar's garden. Ha! <laughs> what a joke. But you know what? This park was named after this dude, I don't know. Juan Francisco de la Bodega Equadra. He was a captain of the U.S. Naval Navy. I'll read about this later on. Grand Pacific Hotel. And they have their own mallard ducks or whatever you call this guy. Well, let's ask uh, Dr. Zurich. He knows more about hunting and ducks. I'm sharing just like the Philippines. The Philippines, you're going to take their picture. They'll ask for money. Did you see money. an advertisement when you went on the internet for the Hotel Grand Pacific? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but that's a double whammy, Sharon. That was a double uh, pedicab. This is the uh, Victoria Hotel. I'm taking pictures of Sharon. It's the Grand Mustache Museum. No, Wax Museum. Wax Mustache Museum. We're just waiting for the ferry to arrive. The ferry is supposed to dock over there. Sure. Comes out. I don't know. That's a bridge. The only picture we're taking right down there, I think, right? Yeah, this is sign. Welcome to Victoria. There's a sign that says, Welcome to Victoria.
Is it taking off? Or what? It's just playing around. I don't know. I think it's just playing around there. It's not taking off, it's just fooling us. As usual, we're the last car again. Our last car again. Last car again. Last car again, last car again, last car. Everybody must get off the car on this kind of ferry. And go upstairs to the passenger deck. Step turn. See, it reminds you so many times to watch your step. Female and male exit there. Yeah, that plane has been, it's called rain plane. It wasn't raining, we were at the Bouchard Garden, but we're back to the ferry, it rained again, as was the case this morning. When we arrived in Victoria. Reminds me of Mrs. Springer. There's two planes. They're both going different direction. Though. Each one of them, not both of them. Each one of them are going a different direction. Oh, that's where the duck. So what's up, duck? Plane. Oh, Canada flag. This is the passenger terminal, passenger entrance. All aboard. The custom entrance. Hey, this, this reminds me of living in Monkino Island. <laughs> Trying to avoid us or trying to hit us. delayed about 45 minutes because of some problems with custom inspection in Canada. Apparently this is not unusual, it's more normal than... Hi. 
Port Angeles. But on a cloudy and a rainy day, through a wet window, you could hardly see anything. But Sharon is always there. <laughs> Sharon is upset that that big tanker is not moving. What's a stern? I don't know what a stern is. What people would you know a stern? Well, there's Victoria slowly disappearing from view. Weapon. Watch your step. Caution, fire door may close automatically. Ah, oh. there's a magnet. That releases, I guess. Which one? New signs. This is a typical tourist wearing a necktie. I'm trying to enjoy this trip, really, but all I see are warning signs about how not to get killed somehow. Nothing to say, welcome aboard, enjoy your trip. I always wonder what you're going to do with an axe when everything is metal on or steel. There's no wood. Looks like Port Angeles is becoming visible. We're about half an hour away. We're getting near the Port of Angeles. And that's Victoria out there we just left. Ooh. This reminds me when uh, we were kids with Papa's ship. We used to pee on the back of the ship. I don't know what you call it. Starboard, <laughs> half or stern. And we would just do it in the ocean. Oh, no, no. I'm not a sailor. See, see that's uh, port in the left and starboard in the right. See that? Rocking. See? See the ocean? I mean, the, okay. Going up. Going down. I mean, port, starboard. Your tourist, accidental tourist. This is the quietest part of the ship. It's the quietest part of the ship, right in front. What do you call this? Starboard? Or star? Starboard is over there. Port's over there. That's Port Angeles.
going to see the mountains. Guess what's that? Don't say anything, Sharon. Let me guess. <laughs> what's that, Sharon? Don't say anything. You tell me not to say anything. Let me guess. Enjoy my trip with all those warnings. How are ya? How are ya? Now we're back in the USA. So this, it goes back again? So where's Ron? The first time we arrived, he was waiting in that corner. Now we came from Victoria and he's not there with his dog. Hmm, I wonder if he's all right. There we are, Eckert. Where's their house? Right there. All right there. Okay, sorry. We are on our way to Forks, F-O-R-K-S, K-S. Look at a beautiful lake. We are at the whole rainforest. Well, Ron, here is the outhouse that you were looking for. It's actually in Ho Home Park. Ho Home or Ho Park? <laughs> mm -hmm. Me. Me. Look at this sucker.
the river runs through it. Sharon, where are you? I was calling for you. Where are you? Sharon! Oh, I see you. Okay. Huge trees. Huge trees. What do you call these plants? We call them either... What? Yellow or, lily or what? Or... Cabbage skunk. Pat's doll? Yellow cabbage skunk. Oh. Oh, yeah. Okay. One. One elephant. Two elephants. Don't say it loud because it's recording. Witches are here, witches. Witches are here. Because I can't see so well what I'm yeah. seeing through here. I keep going. How did I get here? There, see those little branches? It's a light foot. Ruby Beach. What's that slug? Slug. Oh, you're doing pretty well, Sharon, going down the trail.
dirty water is coming from, but it's coming from inland. Must be a river source out there. Could be the whole river. Oh, whoo. Goes out towards this ocean. The Pacific Ocean. Did you get that? What did you say? So this is the handicap accessible way. Oh really? Good. Quicksand! Quicksand! This way is the way tourists are told to go. We just went through a little shortcut. Shortcut, a little opening in the bush, bushes. They supposedly if you go here you have to go over the logs. But we find a little path that we don't have to go through the logs. See instead of going all the way straight, where do you go, Sharon? Went There's right a little, through there. Like a little path in there, see? And took the easy way. And Laura could go through there. It was easy going down, right, Sharon? Very. But it's difficult going up. Hi, George. Meow. Meow. Hi, George. Meow. You got a nice view here, George. Those kids were brave, biking. And then pan over here, this is where the trees are. From the mountains to down here. I think those bikers will get wet pretty soon, huh? Is there acetic? Is this acetic or what? Hmm. I wonder why this is empty. Instead of horse poop, we have dog poop. Off the coast of Oregon. Boy, this reminds me of acetic. Although it's got a little bit more foliage. Well, we're waiting for the sunset, but the clouds cover the sun. And all we could do is see if the clouds will lift at the last moment. There's a boat up there, or a ship. And there's a truck in the beach patrolling. We're just going to leave tomorrow morning. It's, we'll see. We'll, let well know. I'm trying to time the light. There we go. OK, see, I That's told you it was Tuesday night, Leo. No, What's it called? The lighthouse. Sharon's talking to Rodney, talking about Tony Kukoc tying the game for Milwaukee. They're playing okay. New Jersey. Okay, well. Is there a channel light with the fishing boat? There's, 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 a, there's no. a lighthouse there. The no, this one also here, where the boat is right now. Up there? Yeah. That would be a channel Yeah, I know. a boat light. Let's see. That's a lighthouse, Leo. There it goes again. No. 
now. Sorry, let's see again. Just keep looking. Just keep looking. Guarantee a light will be there. There. Sorry. This park. Fort Stevens remind us of uh, Asitik so much. It's unreal. Except they've got more lush vegetations. Of course, the trees are more pine trees. Very trusting hotel. The night entrance of no luck. Well, this town is in the historical landmark. And the two guys, Donna Lewis, and Clark Kent ended up this Columbia River after finding their way through the north passage of their noses. They were then considered the best in the West. Put on unconfirmed rumors that have been circulating via the internet that employees of Chinatown businesses have either contracted SARS or even died from it now. American Airlines still waiting to hear from the flight attendants union on whether a new wage cut deal has a chance. Meanwhile, a representative is in New York today to actor believed to be in the first stages of Alzheimer's disease. He's in later He's than the first stages. During the NRA annual convention this weekend in Orlando. A tribute to Heston will open that convention and it will include a concert by country music. And the mighty Columbia. Columbia astronauts who died in that February 1st disaster. Wedding bells are in the air for former New York City Mayor Rudy Giuliani and his fiancée, Judy Nathan. And guess who's going to perform the wedding? Current Mayor Michael Bloomberg. I thought this was only in the Philippines. But here we are in Astoria, Oregon, with Dari Gold. Cannon Beach, Oregon. Where is the... I'm sure it just goes around. Looking around. So where do we go from here? There's the ocean. Acoustic music at Cafe in the town. Cafe Union Time will suit your family. It's 50 degrees, but I guess they're used to this kind of weather. To them, it's warm. <laughs> what are you saying? That water has got to be freezing. He must be taking some anti-frost bite pill. This is what I thought driving through Oregon was be would be like, and it is. We 
were down there earlier, but there were a lot of people on the beach. It was, it was cool, but they were in their bathing suits. Birdie, 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 birdie. Hi, Ozzy. Look, over there. That's why they call this an overlook. Don't worry, we're still in Oregon. We have gone 33 miles in the past one hour and a half. The trucks they have out here are lumber trucks. Logging is big in this area. Sharon doesn't want to come over here and look over these cliffs because she's afraid of heights. The highway and those are the nets that's preventing the rock from falling. Guess what this place is all about. This is all where they bring their oysters for shucking or for shells. They duck over there and they suck them up to this tubes and they go up to the conveyor belt. They're coming down there with the truck, see? And just watch the shells come down. get loaded up on this from from down there. These are from down there. Suck it up and load it up to this. And then something gets done upstairs I guess. And then they go down to this trucks and to the market. There goes another one. There goes another one. I love oysters. I don't see anything going up, but I hear every now and then something coming down the suit. suit shoot down the right side, on the right side.
after the oysters have been shocked, here's where they put the oyster shells. But you could only smell this. Okay, running. These are the log trucks, the trucks that carry the logs that are all over the roads in Washington and Oregon. Okay, are you gonna pass it? I'm not gonna pass it. There we go. Coming at you from behind and in front, uh, all over. That's the one, two, three, four, five. One. You can't see it. Got my nose. We are at the rest stop in Oregon and this rainforest tree like moss is here too. Because the river runs through it. We did that. Sure did. Thank you. Another wayside. Just before we appro approach towns, there's always a wayside to view the town that you're getting into. And instead of saying downtown, they say center. Right? City center, they say, Sharon? We just had lunch at Lincoln, and another rest stop. We are at DePaul Bay, Oregon still. And if it's Oregon, there you got the ocean. Again, Sharon doesn't want to come over here because it's deep. What the sucker splash in the shore. Getting sick yet? Perfect storm. I don't know if you could read this, but this is a foul, foul language. Thank you. 
How appropriate the name. Right now it's raining and really the weather is foul. I'm holding onto my hat from Brussels because it's windy. And there goes the droplet of rain. On a day like this, you need a lighthouse to guide you as to where you are going. Wow, what do you know? On a day like today, that ship should could use this. Don't tell me that he's trying to get into that beach in there. No, there's no port that I could see. Well, it's not all sunny all the time during our trip down the coast of Oregon. So we have to stop when it's raining heavy or, or I'm getting sleepy. We just came from the down the mountain. Some areas had railings, some don't, didn't have any. Now we're going to that side of the mountain.